everyone. Welcome back to the Lawrence at Home. My name is Teacher Vivian and I'm going to be giving you story time today. It's so good to see you. I hope that you're staying safe at home. Before we get started with our cool story today about a very cool scientific artist, I want to remind you to please like and subscribe to the Lawrence at Home so you can get more updates when we go live, have more story times, and do really cool science stuff. Let's get started learning about Maria Sibia Marion. So, Today we're going to be learning about someone named Maria Sibia Marion, and she was an artistic scientist from a very long time ago, and I was really inspired by her story. Maria Marion was born in 1647 in Germany. Her stepfather was a painter, so she also started painting. Hmm, so here's a picture over here of some things that she has painted before. Is there anything that you notice about this painting that might show what she liked to paint? Hmm, I see an insect here with wings. I see a flower, some more flowers here with leaves. And I also see another insect here, but without wings. Hmm, I think maybe she might have liked to draw plants and insects, but let's find out. As she was growing up, she kept different insects and plants in her house and studied them changing. Ah, so she did like to draw pictures of insects and plants. She had different insects that she would keep inside of her house so she could see them up close and draw them in great detail. If you look here at these different pictures, you can see that she paid a lot of close attention to the details on the wings on this insect and all the stripes on this insect. It kind of looks like a photograph. It's really clear and really detailed. She painted pictures and taught people of something called metamorphosis. Oh, that's a big word. Say it with me. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Which is when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Whoa, that is so awesome. Right here, we see the different stages of that big word, metamorphosis, when the caterpillar turns into the butterfly. Here, the caterpillar is crawling along, and then it goes into something here called a cocoon. And then it comes out as a beautiful butterfly, and it's all the same insect. Before Maria shared these pictures about what she learned, People thought that caterpillars and butterflies were two separate insects. And that kind of makes sense. Let's look at this painting that she did. There's a caterpillar and there's also a butterfly or moth here. And they look like two different insects. This one is a green color. This one is a gray color. If I was looking at these two insects, I would think that they were two different creatures too. But because Maria took the time to look at the insects growing up when she was taking care of them, she saw that they were actually the same organism. Through Maria's awesome work, we can see that art is an important and helpful part of science. And being creative can help us learn a lot about science. I don't know if you've heard of the term STEM before. It stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. But now there's a cool new thing called STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And if we use the ways that we learn with art and be creative, we can do a lot with science. We can design different experiments. We can make awesome things using artistic and creative processes. So I think Maria is an awesome example of that as someone who takes the time to observe something and draw it and be creative too. I think that drawing the things that I observe is really fun and helpful. Sometimes I go around and I use a nature journal and I draw the things that I see outside so I can observe them and write about them later on. Maria is remembered as a creative and important science and is even on German money. Her drawings are still used and they're actually right here on the back of this bill. Isn't that really cool? Man. Wow, I think that Maria was so awesome. I like to draw pictures of plants too. I'm getting there. I'm not super good at painting yet, but I know that I can improve. And I hope that you can try being creative like Maria too and see how art is so important for science as well. 
Thank you so much for joining me on hearing this awesome, inspiring story about Maria, who watched these caterpillars turn into butterflies and was able to show lots of people about what metamorphosis was. I hope to see you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Lawrence at Home to get updates on when we do cool science stuff. It's so nice to see you for story time. I'm Teacher Vivian, signing out. Thank <music> you.